<coughs> so skin tones we all know the debate some people say canon other people say sony basically nobody says panasonic or any other camera company for that matter which i don't know why but we all have our own opinions on what camera we think produces the best looking skin tones now in this video i'm actually going to show you that regardless of your camera and regardless of your skin color for that matter you can make your skin tones to look however you want them to look if you want them to be more magenta you can do that if you want them to be more green you can do that if you want something to look like it's straight out of willy wonka's chocolate factory you can do that and it's actually really really easy to do so i'm going to actually do all of this in premiere pro i know there's a way to do this in final cut but I, i'm i'm not quite confident yet in final cut not not enough at least to you know want to show you through a uh, tutorial so today it's going to be all in premiere so let's go ahead and open up the computer and let's get started Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do once you open up Premiere is, of course, select your clip here at the bottom of your timeline. Then go ahead and navigate to the color panel at the top here. Now, you'll notice that I have a waveform and I have a vector scope. These two things are going to be really important uh, to determine the, the proper tone of our, of our skin tones. If you don't see this, go ahead and click this little wrench right here. Um, you know, select waveform, vector scope, super easy. Once you have those on the screen, now we can start adjusting for our skin tones. Now the first thing I'm going to do is actually adjust the exposure. It's slightly underexposed. You can see a lot of the information down here is uh, favoring towards the shadows and the blacks. To counteract that, I'm just going to bring up the mid-tones, which is going to bring up you know, the exposure of the entire image, but specifically it's going to really affect our skin tones, which is what we want to do. So I'm going to bring that up. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go into my curves and just add a little bit more contrast in there to kind of counteract what we just did, but just really give our image a little bit more of structure overall. Just a basic S curve, nothing too fancy. If you don't know what that is, uh, up here I'm adjusting the, the highlights. And right here, I'm adjusting the shadows, making the shadows darker and the highlights brighter, which ultimately just brings in more contrast. Okay, that looks good to me. Now for the fun part. Now we're gonna actually adjust the, the, the tone of what our skin looks like. To do that, I'm gonna go down to the HSL secondary tab. I'm gonna grab this eyedropper. I'm gonna select my skin. Okay, now to see what I've selected, just go ahead and check this box. And you can see that is what we have selected. It's not the entirety of our face, of my face at least. So I'm gonna grab the second eyedropper click somewhere else that that that's pretty good to me again it's not the entirety of my face but it's close enough um, to where that's that's good for us where we want to work go ahead and deselect this okay now basically what we've done is is just selected a mask of our skin tone and what you want to do is look at this vector scope um, this line on this scope right here that's commonly referred to the skin tone line so it's you know it's right there in the middle between yellow and red obviously kind of in that orangish area and what you want is for a lot of this information that's collected this bunched up information right here you want that as close to on that line as possible now you can tell that I've got some of it kind of veering off to the to the left here towards the yellows and that's okay um, ideally yeah you'd want it to be perfectly on this line but for the most part to get it like that a lot of that's going to come from what your in-camera settings were so your white balance your exposure and all that so that's side note really important to dial that in um, before you ever even shoot any video because it's going to make your job in post a lot easier but with that being said there's enough here for us to work and tweak and get it a little bit closer to where we want it so I've got my skin selected and so I'm just going to counteract where you know this information is veering off to the yellow. I'm going to put some more orange and red in there and to do that I'm just going to bring our temperature slider over here more towards the orange a bit. Okay that's probably a little bit too much let's bring it down. Okay I like where that's at just to see what we've done real quick that's that's before here's after obviously kind of made that our, our my face a little bit more vibrant 
to kind of counteract even that just a bit. I'm gonna bring the saturation down just a tad here. And a lot of this, guys, is gonna be really just trial and error. And so we're gonna we're just gonna mess with a bunch of stuff here on the right. But the main thing is that we're watching this vector scope and we're seeing the result of what we're doing. Sometimes our eyes or even our screen can lie to us and what we think we're seeing is actually gonna come out differently. So that's why using graphs is really, really important. I'm gonna go to this correction wheel here and just kind of grab and move it more towards the orange a bit, up towards the reds there. See, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking now kind of the color that we're working with before, after, before, after. Yeah, I like that a lot. Maybe move it down just a bit more closer over to the oranges. There we go, I'm gonna drop that saturation just a bit. Okay. Let's look at that before, after. It's really just a slight, small tweak that we made, but it's it's good enough for me here. Now I can go in and again, I can keep adjusting this tone curve to, to, the, to whatever it is that you like. Everybody's got a different style. So this is where it's gonna come uh, to your own preference. For me, I kind of like my images a little contrasty. So I'm just gonna move it around kind of see what, what looks good, what works for me. That's okay. Bring the overall saturation up just a bit. I shot it, not on a super flat profile, but flat enough to where I wanna bring in a little more saturation. Kind of mess with our white balance here. Okay. So that to me is looking pretty good. And like I said, I'm not perfectly on this line and I purposely shot uh, on auto white balance just to show you that um, ideally what you would rather have is to really dial in your white balance, whether, you, whether that means shoot in shade or cloudy, or even if you have the ability on your camera to specifically dial in the, the Kelvin number um, you're gonna wanna do that before you ever start shooting. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you, but just to see uh, the overall effect of what we've done, that's before, that's after. I, I really like the skin tones. I think they look natural. I think the light, you know, coming the highlight roll off here, kinda coming off the cheek, I think it looks really flattering. Overall, I'm super happy with this image. So yeah, just like that, it's really, really easy to edit your skin tones in Premiere. Pro. If you have any questions that I did not answer in today's video, make sure to leave me a comment down below. I will reply to any question that I can. Uh, and also, you know, if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, no worries, no pressure, but I do make videos just like this every single week. And like I said earlier, I'm actually gonna be doing this now twice a week. So if that seems like something that you might be interested in, uh, you know, I, I would love it if you considered subscribing here. It really means, you know, means the world to me anytime somebody decides to take time out of your day and, and watch one of my videos. So if you subscribe, you'll be hopefully notified anytime I make a new post, as well as, you know, of course, you're just, you're helping the channel grow and I, I, I so appreciate all the support that I can get. So anyways, with all of that being said, thank you for watching today's video. I will see you guys in the next one.